that uh, all females and males when they're younger should ideally be immunized against HPV. My three sons have been immunized against HPV. HPV is a very common group of viruses that can cause simple warts, uh, venereal warts, and the high-risk strains can be associated with certain types of cancer. The most common cancers associated with is cervical cancer. However, in uncircumcised males, rarely, uh, it can also cause penile cancer. It also has been associated with throat cancer and anal cancer, and potentially other cancers as well are being studied. So, it's important to try to reduce exposure to HPV, uh, but unfortunately, since it's so common and it's simply a marker of sexual activity, we like to immunize all females and also all males when they're pre-teens, long before sexual debut, because we now have a cancer vaccine for both males and females that is associated with reducing cervical cancer, anal cancer, as well as venereal warts. And when people are young, like 9, 10, 11, 12, their immune response to the vaccine is generally much more robust. So many people unfortunately think of the HPV vaccine as a sex vaccine, and it is not. It is a cancer vaccine. And even people who are in mutually lifelong monogamous relationships can get exposed to HPV, which can lead to cancer. For those women who have had an abnormal pap and know that they're infected with HPV, if they are under the age of 26, they're still eligible to receive the HPV vaccine. And while receiving the HPV vaccine will not cure someone who already has an, an infection, it still may boost their immunity to other strains of HPV. So if you are a male or a female between the ages of 9 and 26, we would recommend HPV vaccination with this cancer-reducing vaccine.